Well, here with Ryan Ruffles, who after three rounds is a four under the card, which is extraordinary given where he was on uh, early in his round on Thursday. You probably don't want to go back to that, but let's start there. Yeah. When you're seven, seven over through six, what are you thinking? Well, yeah, that was a pretty atrocious to start out the day like that. Um, I was one under through two and feeling pretty good, and then all of a sudden everything fell apart, and I was seven over through six, and I set myself a goal walking off the six green to get to four over for the day. I thought if I got to four over for the day, I'd give myself a chance to make the cut the next day. Um, and I got it to four playing the last three part of the last, which was a bit disappointing, but I mean, obviously I was able to play a good second round. What, what are you going through? Like we're all, a lot of people there to watch you play and you know, the story's a big story and you have the warm up round with Rory. So people are talking about you. Do you get embarrassed? Are you, what, what's the feeling that you're going through when you're playing? Like when the score, when the score is like that? Yeah, I mean, I was a bit embarrassed to play that bad. I mean, you're not going to feel good. You're seven over through six. You're playing, you're playing more than an 18 handicapper. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was a bit embarrassing. But I knew I'm generally that's one of my strengths. I'm pretty level-headed. I can grind out a round pretty good, and I was able to do that that round, minimise the mistakes from there on in, and play some pretty solid golf to get it back to five over. I guess I finished and. So you come out and shoot 67 and 68 after that, and you've got a round to go, and you're sort of in the mix here all of a sudden. Uh, what, what do you take from the capacity to bounce back the way that you have? I mean, yeah. I mean, I've always known that's one of my strengths, and I think what going through when I was 13 and 14, I kind of lost that a little bit. I was getting pretty angry with um, when I hit a bad shots, when I started to play bad, and I kind of lost that. But I've been this last year, I've been really able to get that back and use it as one of my strengths, and it's... I mean, it's one that I guess maybe not not as many people have, and it's good to um, be able to fight out a round like that and get myself back into probably not a position to win anymore. I would have, I mean, I had to finish a bit better to maybe get into a position to win. But I mean, those top three for the Open is a good possibility as well. Yeah, well, it's a chance, and there's you know, leading amateur, you know, that's something to put put to go. It's a feather to stick in your cap. So it's something to sort of gun for. I mean, exactly. If I can come out here tomorrow, I'm going to need a low one. I mean, my goal is to get to double digits under par. If I can do that, I think I'll be a fair chance of both of those. Um, obviously, Brady's playing really good as well. It's going to be tough to beat him, but you never know. We got two. He's only on the fifth hole today, so we've got a couple of days to go and just see what happens, yeah. You've grown up in an elite sort of sporting environment with your mum and your dad and your sister, I guess, and you kind of know what it takes to be a good player, like hopefully even a really good player. Do you sense that there's a lot of them around sort of from your age up to about kind of 25 in Australian golf at the moment? Yeah, I mean, Australian golf or amateur golf is looking really good. Um, we step out to these amateur tournaments now and you got to play really, really good to win. I haven't won a national ranking event yet. I came second at Federal a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yeah, but still haven't won one. So it just, I mean, and I've played pretty good. So it just goes to show the level of amateur golf here in Australia. And it's, I mean, there's a few of us being able to compete in the Australian Open, which is arguably the biggest event here in Australia. So uh, let's put a couple of things on the record. You're 15 years old. How, how, how much do you actually weigh? Um, I weigh 68 kilos. Uh, how much did you weigh six months ago? Oh, about 58. How far did you hit your drive on 16 today? Uh, 310 metres. How far? If you really crank one out and you've got a bit of wind up your backside, how far do you reckon you can hit one? I don't know. I hit that one pretty good. Um, <laughs> maybe I can get an extra 10 out of it maybe, yeah. but yeah, that's that was not bad, that one. Is it true? There's already stories about it. Is it true that you got your first golf club from Marco Mira? Yep, yep. Um, we used to live in Isleworth um, down there um, in Florida, and so I got I got my first club from Marco Mira back, back in the day, yeah. And you're just getting a bit of pressure coming from Jason Norris, which is always difficult. What do you, what do you make of him, Jake? Oh, he's a champion. I played with him in the Queensland Open. He's, uh, he's a good kid and he's uh, got plenty of game. How good were you at 15? Get back here quickly. How good were you at 15? Uh, not that good, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so you get your first club from O'Meara. Yeah. There are already stories about you had on the golf course. A bloke was telling me today that you won a... We know tennis is in your family. You've already you won a tennis tournament. You're a pretty good tennis player. Is that true? Yeah, I can play tennis pretty good. Um, a couple of, or last year I played for the school. I played in the first team and I was number one on the first. And So I can still play tennis pretty good. Um, I've definitely, I guess if I didn't, I'd be a bit of a dud coming out of my family, wouldn't I? I'd um, stick to golf. I reckon you're going to be pretty handy. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously I chose golf and dad loves golf, mum loves golf. So, I mean, it's, yeah, they're very happy with me playing golf, yeah. It's a joy watching you play. Good luck for yeah. tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, guys.